In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to insert multiple photos into PowerPoint using the built-in photo album feature, rather than having to insert them one at a time. It's fast and super easy. Start by opening PowerPoint. You'll need to make a new presentation to start. Just pick the blank presentation option. Then go to the Insert tab, click Photo Album, and choose New Photo Album. In the dialog box, click File Disk to browse your computer and select your photos. To choose several photos at once, you can hold down the Shift key, click on the first image, and then click on the last, and it'll select a range. Alternately, you can use the Control key to select individual select images or deselect. On a Mac, hold Shift for a range or Command to select individual ones. Click Insert when you're done. Before we create this, we can reorder these images if we choose by clicking on the selection, and we can use the arrows to move them up or down in the order. We are able to rotate images if necessary. Let's say they are not in the orientation we want. Change the contrast or brightness. And we can select the picture layout. In my example, I'm choosing fit to slide, but you can also have it show one, two, or four pictures. Have them include titles. Or for instance, if I selected one picture, I can choose captions below all pictures, and it would include a text box for me. In my example, like I said, I'm just going to do fit to slide. When things are the way I want it to go, I just click create. So automatically, it creates a title screen, which we can easily delete if we don't want, or we can alter it. I'm going to delete mine, so I can just click here and hit delete. But now each individual image is on its own slide. I want to point out that PowerPoint creates this as a separate presentation from any you may have already been working in. If you wanted these slides to be a part of something larger, you can simply copy and paste the slides from this presentation to your other one. Once again, if I wanted to select a range, I could click on one, hold down shift, and click on the last one to have them all selected before going to copy. You can also alter the theme if you choose. Under design, I could click theme, but I do prefer black behind my images. So anyway, that's it. This is a lot quicker than placing each image, especially if you have many.